Nate, I'll go right to the point. Tell me about the touchdown and how that felt. Felt good. Um, uh, I haven't had a touchdown in a while, so um, being able to score is obviously nice, but uh, I was just happy to make a play in the ball. Being able to be out there, just having the trust for my teammates to be able to be on the field. So it's a fourth down situation. You're in man coverage. Did you kind of see this coming? Throughout the week, we kind of knew how they were going to attack us um, in the short yardage. On film, they showed it the opposite way. So, you know, we were kind of playing more for that side of the play, and then they kind of did the little loop de loop reverse on us. So, um, you know, we kind of just uh, made adjustment on the run. But we didn't, we know how they were going to attack us. We just didn't know how, which way they were going to do it. So, you come into the league, you were a safety at Nebraska. How hard was it to make the transition to linebacker? It was tough, and I think a lot of things went into it. I think one of the hardest things for me was the nutrition part of it, being able to eat a lot more calories, you know, being in the weight room a little bit longer, different types of movement, you know. Being a linebacker, you got to do a lot more squats, you got to, you know, do a lot more deadlifts, things like that. So, you know, I had a lot to do with transition, things like that, but on the scheme side of it, uh, I think that was a little bit easier for me just because I was kind of a, a run feel guy in college, um, being able to play in the, the box quite a bit. Now you're taking on bigger people more often, so. Yeah, that, that's also, you know, one of the bigger tasks. Uh, Coming from college and the NFL, the, the bigger guys can run a little bit faster and a little bit stronger. So um, being able to deal with that was probably one of the, the greater transitions I had to make. You talked about um, it's your first touchdown in a long time. We'll go back to how long ago? Uh, I think it was my sophomore year of college. Uh, we had a block field goal and I picked it up and ran it for a touchdown. Because you didn't look uncomfortable running the ball. It looked like you. It's it's a place where you've been before. Yeah, I played, I played a little bit of offense in high school um, from South Dakota, so kind of played all the positions. Got the ball in my hands quite a bit when I was in high school, uh, college, it kind of took it away from me. And then you went to the dark side. I went to the dark side officially, yeah. I talked to your linebackers coach and he talked about your ability to play all three positions. Um, why is that important? For me individually, I think it's important just to be able to get on the field, um, you know, being able to understand. Uh, you know, the past couple of years, I've been kind of a fill-in where needed guy. So if someone got hurt, I needed to know, you know, all the spots for me individually being able to get more uh, playing time. And then also think, you know, in the long run, it's just beneficial in knowing football, just knowing more about the game, X's and O's, how pieces fit, where and when, and, um, you know, how, how we can use different types of those, um, you know, positions. So being able to know just more football, obviously, is, is beneficial in the long run. Is this defense evolving? Because I'm starting to see some things that I don't think I've seen in the past, just watching the way you guys play. Um, you know, I think we play really well together. I think since uh, we've had a lot of guys that have been here uh, three years since I've been here, we've got a lot of good communication between each other um, from the back end, from the top to bottom. I think that, you know, we're, we're pretty vocal across the board. You know, I think that being able to play well with each other, that we are able to, you know, try new things and maybe switch things up, give a different look, just because, like I said, we are all able to play multiple positions. So I think that's what makes us beneficial with being able to do that. But schematically, I am seeing some different things. Yeah, we're, we're doing a little bit, uh, I mean, obviously a lot of it, you know, we have uh, some pieces that are missing right now. Yeah. Um, so you got you got you to adjust to that. Um, but we, we are throwing a little, uh, little do kinks into things. You know, I think a lot of it is because we have been so, so successful at running the same stuff over and over is that people are trying to, you know, scheme up on those things. So we kind of have to throw a curveball every now and then. Going back to pretty much familiar territory for you. Um, what's that like? You, you're buying a lot of tickets for this week? <laughs> Yeah, I, I think some of the first times where I, I told uh, a lot of my family, okay, rather than, no, you can't come to this one. I got My mom's from a small town in Minnesota, uh, so I got plenty of family from the state of Minnesota. So I know they're all going to be there, and I got a lot of family and friends in South Dakota, and it's only a three-hour drive north, so they're going to make the trip, so it's a, pretty much a home game for me. Pretty excited to see all them. So when you go in there, you're challenging one of the best running backs in the league right now. Dalvin Cook is second in rushing in the National Football League. How big of a challenge is that, and how do you slow him down? I think it's a great challenge for us. Um, I think that one thing that we're really good at is stopping the run. So I think it's a good challenge for our defense to really prove if we're the real deal or not, being able to go up against someone like Dalvin Cook. In my opinion, he can you know do a lot of different things with his running styles. You know, he's a fast guy and gets to the edge, but also you know one step, get upfield, you know, make you miss, shimmy, shimmy. So you know we got our hands full this week. We got a lot of good running backs. They all three do different types of styles of running too, so um, should be interesting. You face a couple of different running backs that have been good players along the way. How does he compare to the other guys you've played against? Um, I, I mean, just last week, you know, going up against Le'Veon Bell, how they wanted to get him the ball in the run game in the pass game. I think the Vikings are trying to do the same thing. They want to run the ball, set up the play action, but at the end of the day, they want to get the ball in the best hands, and that's, you know, 33, giving the ball to Dalvin. If that's, uh, you know, quick out route, swing pass, um, different scheme runs, they're going to try to give him the ball just because they know he's a playmaker. 
Going back to Minnesota, anything special about going there to play other than its home and family? Um, uh, you played there before. I played. I mean, it? You remember the last time you played? I, I do remember the last time we played there. It was, it was a pretty big win, I'm pretty sure. So we're anxious. I mean, obviously it's a new year, things like that don't matter, but obviously it's a new new opponent in that same stadium, so it should be a little bit louder this year.